Hey everyone, it's Alvo. I wanted to tell you about postmentalism. It's my new prediction effect. It solves this problem of what to do with a prediction before an event. You write your prediction, you put it in an envelope. Your friend doesn't want you to hold on to it, so you can't change it. You don't want your friend to hold on to it, so they can't peek. So postmentalism fixes this by allowing you to mail the prediction to your friend to their house to give for the first time a sincere reaction no cameras no expectations so anyway I had a hard time coming up with a demo for this since the magic happens when your friend is at home alone um, so what I did was I I wanted to call up some working pros I told them about the effect I told them about what happens and I gave them a day to think about the method and then I gave them a call the next day and I told them how it works. First I called Tom Kristoff. Tom's a working pro in Madison, Wisconsin. Always busy, always doing big gigs. <laughs> okay, I see where this is going right off the bat. I absolutely love that. That is as simple and direct and clever as it can be. I want to send you one. Please do. I want to try this. Oh, I love it. That is absolutely brilliant. It's simple and direct, and I don't think anybody's going to get the, uh, they're not going to guess that because what threw me off on the method was they're at home, they open it, you're not even there. You know, and I'm thinking of all the old school methods going, I don't know how that's going to happen unless it was a dual prediction, which you're eliminating. You're eliminating switches or uh, forces or anything like that. Well, don't put this on the market for another year, because I want to try to round up all my corporate clients using this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like best about your method, though, is you could do it right when you're watching the game. You know, I could see sitting down in the uh, third Super Bowl and at the halftime show going, you know, if it's a close game going, I know who's going to win this and I know what the final score is. Well, you know, when I was reading it, the first thing I kept on thinking about was, all right, there's got to be a switch. And then I read it again, and it's like, but he's not there. His friend's sitting on the couch. You know, it's like, whoa, he's not even there. Yeah. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, how did you come up with that? I have to ask. And then I called O's Perlman. O's Perlman works the corporate scene in Manhattan. One of the most competitive markets for magic. If there's one word to describe O's, it's driven. I think it's great. Brilliant, dude. Fucking good. Right there, that is really good. I'm just trying to think is um uh, I'm just trying to think for corporate events. Like I, I, I do uh I do a lot of the corporate events where they fly me out. Uh-huh. And well, you could do it for sure at corporate I, events, man. I mean, the possibilities. I'm trying to think like I have the CEO there, and I tell the CEO that I'm gonna. You know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this when I do this Super Bowl event. I'm doing a show on Friday night. You, I can. Can I use this? Absolutely. How did you come up with this? Where, how did it hit you to think about doing this? It's huge. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It, it's going to be legendary. I don't want to tell anybody about this. This is, this is brilliant, dude. Are you selling this or are you keeping it to yourself? How much are you going to sell it for? Like about 30 to 40 dollars. That's it? <laughs> I 
I mean, I can jack it up. I haven't sold a single one yet. I know, but here's the thing. Then I gave a call to Paul Draper. Paul's a working mentalist based in Las Vegas. He does every kind of show you can imagine. From VIPs at the major hotels to rooms full of thousands of corporate executives. I want you to know you can't see, but I'm smiling right now. <laughs> so keep going. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. I think that's great. This is, uh, what's, what's great about this is that there are a wide, wide, wide number of uses. Wow, that's, uh, that's really, really any concepts. What this is really great for is the ability to have an effect after the effect. And this is what makes uh, people remember a magician and talk about them in the future is this idea that not only did he put on a great performance for me, but two, three days after we left each other's presence, he continued to perform magic for me. And so the performance was wonderful, but then there's the Santa Claus moment uh, uh, coming down the chimney and the present appearing under the tree days and days later. I think for someone that wants to perform for their friends or perform for uh, for somebody that's trying to get to book them for a major show, um, this can be a real uh, killer reputation maker. And finally, I call Morgan Strebler. Morgan has been working the nightclub scene in Las Vegas for years. He performs for the biggest stars, the biggest clients. When it comes to somebody who always has something to impress the biggest clients, there's no one better than Morgan. That's really, really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's really clever. I mean, really, really clever. I, I like it a lot. I, I, I'm just more impressed with it now that two seconds later I had another idea with it, so. Yeah, I mean, it's really strong. That's really fucking strong. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for the next USB fight. Oh, that'd be sweet. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks, man. <laughs> I like it more the more I think about it, though. I like it because I'm thinking of how I can use it. Like, if you're on a talk show, like, I just did a live show, like a, a breakfast show a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a way to get another day of people talking about you. You, could, you wouldn't do it in a show, but I would use it more just to impress, like, people that need to be impressed. I mean, I would do it for friends and stuff, but I think I'd do it to impress, like, big clients, you know? Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm with one of my clients, and then, you know, I send them that prediction. You know, they get that in the mail, and they remember physically putting it in the mailbox. They remember, you know, I mean, that's strong, dude. What I love about post-mentalism is that it's different. It's different than any other kind of magic you can do. This is the first time your friend is going to be able to react completely sincerely to a piece of magic. Nobody else around, no cameras, they're not on stage, they don't have friends and family with them. Just pure amazement. That's strong. That's really strong. The other thing that's great about post-mentalism is that you can be performing for somebody, particularly somebody you really want to impress. And at the end, you can close with post-mentalism. And two days later, two days after you're long gone, you amaze them again. So check it out, post-mentalism. Be ready for some attention. This is a reputation maker.